Are you a content creator looking for effects to improve your videos in 2021? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you this really, really cool free ultra text animations pack, which basically includes a lot of pre-made titles and animations from text that you can simply just drag and drop into your timeline. You don't have to animate anything yourself. The only thing that you have to do is change the font, change up the text that's in that preset. No actual keying or whatever is actually needed because in Wednesday's video, I also showed you guys this really nice transitions pack that you guys can also check out in this card right here but also in the outro if you guys have missed that video because you guys really seem to love that video but if you guys are excited about this really really cool text animations pack you can download free in the description make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching i would say let's go ahead and start look how this actually works before you guys download it right after the intro All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are on Mediafire. So before I'm gonna also show you how to use this, I'm gonna also explain how to properly download this and install it. So right here, if you click on the first link down in the description, I would actually suggest waiting until this video is finished or you can just open up another tab so you don't lose this video. So you can just go ahead and follow along. So right here, you see this blue download button. I want to mention that you could also choose your operating system. So if you're using, for example, Vegas on a Mac, you can also just choose right here, Mac OS and even Linux. So of course I'm on Windows and then right here, I'm just going to click on the blue download button, which is going to straightly prompt this box in just a second that is going to ask to save or open it. So right here, I'm just going to always save it. So I'm gonna click on okay. Now that we have downloaded the file, as you notice right here, this is a .sf preset file. And in order to be able to open this file, you need to download the preset manager for Vegas. So that's also free to download. The link is in the description below the download link of this pack. And once you have installed that one, you can come back to this one. So once you have installed the preset manager, I'm just going to double click on the preset and then it's going to open up the preset manager, of course. Now, now, everything is empty right here and that basically means that you have to click on the fx chains right here and then you see all the presets that we need now of course we're going to select everything in this list because that's what we want to install and then right here it says a button and then i'm going to click on copy to system and right here as you notice this prompts me this box the only reason is that i already have this one so i'm just going to click on yes to all but if you download this one for the first time nothing will actually happen if you click on copy to system just that basically means that it is installed so now that we have installed the actual pack onto our computer right now let's go to vegas pro 18 so right here i have inserted just a standard titles and text so if you go to the media generators i'm just going to start from scratch to show you guys right here media generators and then at the very bottom titles and text i'm going to drag in the default so now what we need to do first is customize this one before we're going to add in any animations so let's say that i'm going to just type in my own YouTube name. So then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Let's say that I'm going to pick 25. That looks extra pretty decent. And then I'm going to also choose a different font. And then let's see which one would actually suit. All right, guys. So as you notice, I just picked this one. This one is not too basic, but not too advanced either. So now that we have done that, we're going to close this out. And if you want to take the editing and the details of the text a little bit to a further detail, you can actually go and select a solid color, which is at the very bottom right here. Then you can insert for example a red one so you will have a background because if you're going to add in a black shadow you won't be able to see any black shadow if you just have a black background so right here as you notice we have the text right here so if we want to select some more effects we can also add in the shadow so i'm going to select all the text then i'm going to click on shadow at the very bottom and i'm going to just click on this check mark so we have a nice shadow underneath it so let's go and drag this one for example a little bit further so the shadow is a little bit more closer 
to the text. I think this one looks actually pretty, pretty nice. And then let's also go ahead and add in an outline. I would say let's make that dark red to have like a little bit more of an accent. So let's drag it all the way to the red and then this marker a little bit more to the dark side. And now that we have customized the text in this way, we can delete the red solid color so that we have the nice shadow and the outline ready for the animation. So now that we have a customized our text completely, you can also go and for example, place it on the very bottom left corner of the screen. So let's go and click on the track motion icon right here. So then I'm going to use this to resize it just a little bit. Then I'm going to resize it and put it on the bottom left corner just to make some sort of like a lower third name style. So now it's all ready for the effect to be applied on. So how do we apply the effect on it? It's pretty simple. You're not going to click on the event pen crop icon to make all kinds of keyframes because you don't have to do anything yourself. We're going to click on this icon, which is the event effects. What we just installed is under the filter packages menu right here. And as you notice right here, it says the color changing text. We have the glitch text, hologram text orange. So let's go and for example, pick this rotate YouTube transition. Let's go and click on here and let's click on add and let's click on OK. So now let's play it back and let's see what it looks like. That looks really nice, but it actually starts off in this tilted way. So if you want to keep it like this, you can just add in, for example, just a fade in just to cover it up that it's actually starting from white. So let's go ahead and add in a fade in. So let's see what that looks like. It looks really cool. It's just fading out of black, as you notice, instead of this, where you just have text all of a sudden randomly appearing. It looks really, really, really nice. You can also make just one frame of a fade in. That is how our name pops up. It's really, really nice. So let's go back to the menu and let's look for a different one. So let's pick, for example, the top to bottom transition. We're going to click on add. We're going to click on OK. It's going to immediately also replace the transition. It's not going to add anything on top of it. It actually drops down from the top it looks really really cool and this is how you can just replace them just click on this plugin chain effect right here with the plus icon go to your menu right here with all of these and then you can just really really simply drag in your transitions for example the right to left youtube transition click on add click on okay let's play it back this time it slides in from the side it looks really really cool and that is how you can use this one now i want to mention guys in the intro i did not mention that this one is volume one so you can actually also see this like as a part one. So next week, Monday, part two is going to drop. If you're excited for that one, make sure to just keep an eye on the channel. Make sure your notifications are also enabled. And this is basically how you use this really, really nice volume one transitions pack or text animations effect. How you want to call it. The link is down in the description as well as the preset manager. Oh, and by the way, guys, I wanted to mention that if you want to use this on previous versions of Vegas Pro, that's completely possible since I tested it out on a version of Vegas Pro 16 as you notice right here and everything loads up perfectly fine and that is how simple it is. Alright guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to download this one and also how to open that up with the preset manager because this is not like a lot filter where you just download it and it's in your downloads and Vegas Pro will automatically recognize it. You have to actually install this with a preset manager but of course like I mentioned the download links are in the description to the pack and also to the preset manager that you need. If you want to go ahead to request a topic for example like a sound effects pack or any kind of pack that you guys are looking for make sure to let me know by a comment down below thanks a lot for your continued support guys and i'll see you guys obviously in the next week's video